Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwantner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Jim Dion. He's Director of Belief-Based Selling with Partners in Leadership. Welcome, Jim. Thank you very much, Gerhard. Happy to be here. Now, what is a belief? A belief is something that is created because of the experiences that we have in life. So, Give me uh, an example. So think back to um, our childhood. You mm -hmm. know, as our parents are raising us, they're creating from a very early formative stage these experiences for us that form our beliefs. So, you know, our parents may take us to a certain church, which drives a certain belief system in us. Um, they may um, raise us so that we feel empowered and have a belief that we can do anything that we want. I was fortunate that I was raised by, by parents who, who fostered that, that belief, that experience that you can do right. anything that you want to do. Let's take like. a, a little uh, journey down your childhood mm -hmm. uh, about your beliefs about money. How did you develop a belief about the value of money? Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I happened to grow up in a, in a family that didn't have a lot of money and my parents struggled. Uh, my dad had a lot of uh, medical issues growing up, so my mother was really the, the breadwinner in the family. And, uh, you know, she earned a, a very modest living trying to support her spouse and, and five children. And uh, it was hard. And, you know, we learned the value of, of money and hard work at a really, really young age. And it always just stuck with me as, as I went through school and I was getting ready to go for college that I don't want to end up in a situation where, you know, I'm struggling, that, you know, I don't want to just get by. Um, you know, I want to be able to, to earn a good living and help others. And, you know, I'm fortunate, again, the family I grew up in, my, my parents always fostered this this belief of, of serving others and helping others. When we went through our rough times growing up, um, we had really close friends and family members that really helped us out in our down times. So, you know, for a while they, they took us in and, you know, helped feed us and clothe us and everything. And it really just imprinted in my mind all those experiences, uh, even though they weren't all positive experiences, uh, my parents still instilled this belief that you can do anything that you want, even if you know we don't have a lot of money. Uh, and they they instilled the right the right things in us, which kind of drove me to, you know, wanting to be successful in my career, but also this drive and need to serve others. And you know, I, I went on to college and I became a pharmacist, and that was you know for a couple of different reasons. Number one, well, actually. A few different reasons. Number one, because I'm a science geek. I, I enjoy science. I'm really fascinated with that. But I knew I could always earn a good living and I could serve people at the same time. Yeah, and you're helping them two ways. One is with uh, the principles of belief-based selling so they can use a better mental model for approaching their customers. And secondly, learning more about the customer's beliefs so that they have a baseline or a platform on which they can sell. That's correct. That's correct. As I mentioned, you know, earlier about our experiences in life form our beliefs. It's with us personally. It's with our customers too. Right, right. It's so important for everyone to understand, even if you're not a salesperson, but if you interact with a, a customer or a potential client for your organization, it's so important that every interaction you have with that person, you have to know you're creating an experience for right, them. Right. Whether you realize it or not, you're creating an right. experience. And that experience is shaped by the beliefs. The experiences drive the beliefs. Right. The experiences that you're creating for that customer are going to drive that. The customer's be beliefs. Absolutely. Right. Right. Absolutely. Which then drives their actions and right. the results. Right. Right. And I think what happens is in sales organizations, when we're not getting the results we are looking for, we tend to focus on that action layer. Right. So. We get stuck in that action trap, and to really impact long-term results, we need to work with that belief slayer to make a long-term impact. So you're saying don't make assumptions, uh, question your assumptions, and then verify your assumptions by asking questions. Correct. Never make assumptions. It, it takes us down the wrong path with our customers. Almost 100% of the time when I'm challenging those salespeople, ask your customer for the feedback. Ask them what the results are, Ask them what you're doing well and what you can do better and sit back and 
listen to them. You'll be amazed at what you hear from your customer. And actually, they appreciate your interest in what's important to them. So for anybody who would like to get more information on that system that's proven and tested, go to beliefbasedselling.com. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Gerhard.